They've been working on their coaster for about three weeks now, and Judgment Day, or the day they'll be graded, has finally come. Well, we were not so much concerned with the lap record just because of the fact that we've already broken two others. We've broken the height record and we've put in the second loop. Their coaster comes in at a whopping six feet ten and one half inches, shattering the old record by over two and a half feet. And they do have the double loop. Now, if they can get it to go around twice, they'll get credit. Now, because it's so heavy that if you take another link out, it'll just pull it and it'll just snap. But when things suddenly start going bad on the Ripper, their goals of breaking records seem to be breaking apart. seemed like all was lost, but this group pulled it together and broke two of the three school records. I think it was a success just because of the fact that uh, we actually accomplished what we aimed to accomplish. We got the double loop in, we got that extra height. It functioned for a little while, but I think it was a success. I think we did really well. Uh, Missy, at the beginning when we started the roller coaster, she posed us with the challenge of putting in two loops, and we said that no matter what, that's what we do, and we did it. I think we met our goal, and we exceeded the expectations of our teachers and all of our peers, and that's what we were going for. And we wowed everybody by how tall it was, and that's what we were going for. Some of these students are thinking about careers in engineering, and um, a lot of times when people think about engineering, they think maybe just about building roads or building bridges and things like that, but engineering is a really wide open field, and there are engineers that make designs for roller coasters. and. Um, so I think it really broadens the field and it shows them there are other uh, areas that they can go into. For AFN, I'm Army Sergeant Frank Minnie, Hohenfels, Germany.